Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Herbal Synergies, the shop. I'm your host, Sinji, with me, Er Bay. Say what's up, what Er. Up? Damn. You said what? Never mind, never mind, dog. <laughs> Alright, alright, well, what? Herb, Herbie, it's been, it's been a long week. I'm sure you sipped on hella tea. What flavor was your favorite? Man, I'm gonna go with when my my man Inosuke. I thought he was dead. I said, "Dang." Yo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Demon Slayer believe in killing people. I'm like, man. They killed the Hashira, killing one of the trio. Oh Demon Slayer out here on some Game of Thrones shit, bro. <laughs> For uh, oh my I good lord. I feel like Demon Slayer made my uh, flavor of the week too. It's it, it was a yeah. tough. It was kind of tough, yeah. but but it wasn't in Ahsoka. Even though that shit, that nigga had me um type confused <laughs> at multiple multiple parts in the these last couple volumes. He's like, I can shift my my organs. What? Yeah, but like. It turns out it didn't actually miss his heart, so I was kind of confused. But or it may have been the curse. The curse, the care, because they all got poisoned at one point. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it may have been the curse. Okay, so my moment was fucking Tanjiro using two breaths at the same time. Two fucking elements. Yeah. I'm like, bro, what the fuck? You out here doing some, uh,. Some OP protagonist shit. But see, that that was that really didn't get me, cause um, cause you got to expect he he's a wielder of like two different elements anyway. So why wouldn't it be hard for someone to combine two? You right. You're not wrong. Technically, <laughs> means you right. Yeah. But I I don't I don't know. It just it didn't seem like no one none of the Hashiras was doing it. That's why I was a little. But yeah, you um maybe because they they who knows they might not have trained in something that um that was other than like their nature. Correct. Yeah, you're like, right. Like maybe yeah, because he's he's not a um he's not a water breather. He's just a water breather because that's what that master was. Mhm. Mm yeah. All right, that's fair. So with that being said, are we starting with uh? Demon Slayer? Yeah, we can start with Demon Slayer. Okay, alright. So, what chapter were, uh, did we... Was it... 89 to 97. 89 to 97. Okay. Alright. So, in this chapter, Tanjiro realized that, like, Fire was his best asset for for Can offense, or, yeah, and then water was yeah. his best asset for defense. Yeah. So he so he went he swapped back to because he needed some defense. He needed something to help protect um uh, Hashira Uzi Uzi. I What's don't know up? his name. I just call him Sound. Hashira. Ninja, ninja. I think it is. Yeah. I think it's Uzi. It's U Z U I. I just don't know how to pronounce it. Uzi Vert, baby. <laughs> no. And um. So yeah, he swaps to the water just to um. Just to help the guy out, and then he capitalizes on a moment because the. He was he was about to cut off the demon's head. It's it's been it's been a fucking chaotic fucking fight. Like there's been so much whole, back and uh, forths. That blade covered with stereo. <laughs> How about that? Yeah, one? yeah, the kunai's. Yeah, I was like, damn, she don't care who died. <laughs> yeah, my my man Uzi was covered in like three of them. Yeah. And the demon's like, why can't I move? I was like, because you've been poisoned. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Tanjiro did something later with a blade where he covered it in like a scent. I think he, he masked the scent or whatever and then like uh, he tried to hurt him with it. Mm hmm. So at this point, um, Tanjiro realized he's no help to. Uzi, who's been poisoned and trying his best to fight it off. So we're good with mm -hmm. that. Uh, Inosuke and Zenitsu are like, we can't take care of this fucking hoe. Help us so we can help the Hashira later. So Tanjiro yeah. starts Tanjiro starts helping uh, Zenitsu and Inosuke, and Inosuke is just like, Here, here's what he did, which uh, made me laugh and made me shake my head at the same time. This nigga was like, I have two swords, so I should count as two opponents, right? Yeah. yeah. And he convinced himself that he was two opponents because he had two <laughs> swords. <laughs> and I was just like, bro, this man has to do the most out there fucking character I've seen in a while. Yeah. He's just one of those, if I think it, it's true. Yeah. It's, mm. So, yeah, it was cool though. Yeah, I, I, I enjoyed it. Yeah. Um. But when he got stabbed to the chest, I was like, "Damn, he's dead!" Yeah, and he just dropped but down. He wasn't. He wasn't. He wasn't. He was like, "I can move my organs," and I was just like, "Yeah." But ah. he did grab her head, though. <laughs> he did. He grabbed her he head did. and ran away. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, alright, I ain't mad at it. But then, mm. And then, like, but you yeah. go back, and when you finally go back to, like, Uzi, he's on the ground, so now, um, my dumbass almost said Kaneki. Um... My dumbass. Almost like Kaneki. What was? I lost my train of thought. Tanjiro. That's his name. Tanjiro. Oh my god. That man took a whole sickle through the mouth. Yo, bro. What the fuck? Like this. This whole volume was just a fucking roller coaster for like who had the upper hand. And and then he's just like he's just like I gotta get stronger. I gotta be better. I gotta. I'm not strong enough, and it's it, oh my god! It's so much happened in that episode. These chapters, this volume, so much happened in this right? volume. And, then, and he was just, like, "What am I good at? Headbutting." Yeah, knocked him smooth out. I was like, "Man," then chopped off his head. And then like, dude. Plus, um, that's when he the snuck Hashiro. in the. He, he was dead too. Yeah, yeah. And that's when Tanjiro, before the Hashiro came back, snuck in the the uh, kunai, which he hid the scent with, um, what did he hide it with? Blood? Was it blood? Yeah, I'm not sure. I know he hid the scent. He hid, and then he, he ended up stabbing him with stir. And then, like, he caught him by surprise, and Tanjiro was just like, I just need to, just need to take off his head. Just need to take off his head, and... Homeboy is still, Inosuke like is still running with this chick's head. Yeah. And then he, Tanjiro was about to die. He failed to do the head thing. And the Hashira comes in last second. And it's like, ha, you thought I was dead? I merely just stopped my heart. I was like, what? <laughs> what the hell is yeah. wrong with all of you, bro? <laughs> I think it's just out here too. casually dying, bro. Like, yeah. That's the way the cookie crumbles. Yeah, you're right. You're not wrong. Technically, means you're right. Yeah. So Hashira comes in, and Tanjiro's like, yo, we gotta cut up his head. We gotta cut up his head. And it's just like a really intense moment where, like, they're all they're all in range, and boom. Head Dead. comes off. Yeah. Head comes off. And I'm yeah, just like, like... About time. 
I at this point I was just like, there's a catch, bro. He ain't, he ain't dead. I don't know. There's there's too many twists in this um this volume. Yeah, and then they all they all end up still being poisoned, but Nezuku comes uh, up in the clutch with the blood blood burning technique. Yeah, she can just burn away the the poison. I was just like, what? I think the poison was his his demon blood is what caused it. So and she burns away she the demon art. Yeah, the demon blood art. Yeah. So I think that's what did it. All right. So after Nezuku heals everyone and they're done, um, thinking that everyone pretty much the Hashira is gonna die and then Zenitsuke is gonna die and then I don't think Zenitsu was poison. I think he was just he just hurt. was hurt. <laughs> yeah. Um, Tanjiro goes to find the demons to make sure that they're dead. And he finds them just heads on the ground, arguing back and forth, and that's when we get a little demon backstory. Yeah. And you know what? I, I'm not one for backstories and characters I don't deem like main characters. Like these are just gonna be like villains for like an arc. But like that that backstory kind of really did like kind of make you feel bad for I, I, I don't I don't know if I want to say both of them. Maybe maybe just the the boy more than the girl. Yeah. But it's more so because uh, his mother didn't want him, and then they had the sister. She's like, I definitely don't want you. And then <laughs> yeah. the sister turned out being kind of pretty. But she didn't have to stab a samurai. She could have lived. Mm-hmm. So um, we see their backstory and how, like, this kid had nothing until his sister was born. And then um, he devoted his whole life to giving her the best life he possibly could. And he goes out. And comes back he one day. He's a debt collector. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And she didn't enjoy the the way a client treated her, so she stabbed him in the eye with a comb or some shit. And got no, burned to give her the money first. <laughs> mm -hmm. She didn't. Yeah, didn't give her the money first, and then he um was like, "Die." So. And then he burned her yeah. alive. I was like, "Ooh." Mm -hmm. So you know what I like about I Demon Slayer? What? It's fucking dark. <laughs> Has no issue being dark. Get rid of demon somehow. Yeah. I mean, fire is one purification method. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, in the end, they became demons, and that's how they became the way they were. And that's how they got tied. I still don't understand how they were tied together, per se. But I understand why they became demons. Yeah. Then um, you find out that Izui, that's what I'm calling him, Uzui. Or Uzui, mm -hmm. not Uzui, it sounds better. Uz Uzui, you find out my man is retiring with three wives. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he got his whole hand chopped off, so I don't see why he wouldn't. Right, and then um, the, the creepy Hashiro is just like, you can't retire. You're still valuable even with your hand cut off. I'm like, bruh. Whole hand cut off. Yeah. He does two yeah. blades. He can't do two blades with one hand. Just saying. Yeah. And um, dude yeah. was like, nah, there's already someone capable enough of replacing me. I'm like, oh, oh, he just said Tantra is as strong as a Hashira. I don't know about all that. But... I don't know about all that either. I was like, man, you have too much faith, but it's cool you yeah. think so highly of him considering the way you guys uh, met. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, sometimes you can tell a fighter's skill by exchanging blows. Yes. So. So that was the end of Demon Slayer. The, that yeah. volume. That one. That was the end of that volume. <sighs> Thoughts, sure. comments, concerns. Nah, it was pretty good. I'm excited to see where it goes. Demon Slayer movie did come out. Uh, not sure how. I think I heard mixed reviews about it. I'm not sure. 
I I you heard it was trailer. really good, but um, I was just I, I already read it, so like it's cool gonna see the visual effect, but it's not like yeah. I don't know what happened. Yeah, exactly. Now, we uh, shall we discuss Boruto now? Yeah, let's talk about Boruto. Yeah, What's that up? one wasn't. We talk about Boruto. Was yeah. it too exciting? It was just a huge chapter of forty-seven panels of cat and mouse. Yeah. They he revived the girl, just... and apparently her ability, other than clairvoyance, is that anyone she talks to will fall for her. Yeah. And she hates what the the doctor because she has no idea when someone genuinely likes her. Yeah. And she can see all things. Literally. Anything yeah. that was... um. Except she, before she was born. Except before <laughs> she was born. She knows everything yeah. about everything. And um, that's, that's pretty useful information. Although... Like, I feel like... You're required to never be on the battlefield to be the most useful because if you end up with a woman who's faster than you, it doesn't matter what you see. Because you can't, she can't see the future. She can just see what's currently happening. It was like, yeah, you can see yourself currently dying when you can't really stop it. Yeah, she'd be more um the planning type behind the scenes, mm -hmm. like a Shikamaru type. But that's that's pretty much how that episode went. Uh, now the people on Naruto's side was just like, "Yo, we gotta track down these people." And the people on their side was like, "We gotta kill the Hokage, Sasuke, and the Hokage's brat." Um, yeah. And since you can see everything, you know where they're looking, so we can, I can, I can hide from them without being caught, and just do this when I'm ready. Yeah. Now, what about Dragon Ball Super? Oh, man. They just sucker Goku and them into a, a, a whole fight under the wrong pretense. <laughs> well, listen. Goku would have wanted... To, you didn't even have to lie to Goku or Vegeta to get them to fight this dude. Yeah. You could have just told them he is now the strongest in the universe and they would have wanted to fight anyway. Yeah. My thing was, how how deep was this time skip that Goku and Vegeta both became significantly better at the techniques they were trying to master? It was like four months. Oh, did they actually say... Uh... Yeah, it was like four months and then um, it's going to take 18 days for them to get there. Or I think like one time it was like two weeks, and it was like four months later, and something. I have to go back to be sure, but they they said the time. Gotcha. I was like, oh. I was like, dang. Look at them go. <laughs> so yeah, Goku um, seems like he's pretty good at using Ultra Instinct in his base form now, which means he doesn't mm. need to rely on the Ultra Instinct form. Which is it? Is it a f Ultra Instinct form, or is it just a form where he u best utilizes Ultra Instinct at this point? Because if it's something you can use in your normal state, like I, I was a little confused about. I f I think it's just some like, because Weiss was saying the difference between him is that you have to activate the form, which gives you time constraints while. Whis is always in the Ultra Instinct form. Yes. And so, I guess it is a form. All right. So, like, because like the the purpose of Ultra Instinct is to be able to use your head without thinking about it. Um, or not use your head. Uh, just react without thinking about it. Yeah. But I don't get how that makes Goku stronger. 
I mean, if you look at it, it's like it's like muscle memory almost. Like yes, yes. If you not think about, if you don't think about something, like you're not thinking about. Let me block this punch and count another punch. You're already blocking the punch, and then you're throwing the punch. Like it's just like you're moving by yourself. No, I, I get that. I get like how it makes a more uh, more efficient fighter. I don't get how it makes him stronger though. Because he clearly, like, when he was fighting Jerry, even in his Ultra Instinct sign form, he had more... No, 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 not in the sign form, because he couldn't he couldn't produce any power behind anything, because he would think about attacking instead of just attacking. It was in the Ultra Instinct form that, like, he would attack, and it seemed like he was faster, sharper, stronger. But all that really should be changing in... What they explain about the Ultra Instinct form is his body moves by itself, like auto, like autopilot. It didn't, they I mean, don't really say you the, get stronger. But the Angels are some of the strongest people in the world. True. <laughs> and like you true. see, he blocked him with like a, a finger. So I guess that's just the power of Ultra Instinct. It's the power yeah, of God. We be treating a uh, beer is like, like he could he could just destroy him. Yeah. So, I guess it's just the power of Ultra Instinct. Okay, so, so. I, I guess since we're on um, mangas, I'll, I'll go over my, my Vigilante. Oh, you actually read some, huh? Yeah, yeah. Um, I think I, cram I crammed the last three today. I read five. I read my five. Mm. So oh, we're just reading volumes out here. No, no, I don't got time to read a volume, bro. You reading you reading whole mm. seasons of Tower of God, bro? Is it the same season as the um same amount as the volume? Um, I don't know. Uh, I don't think so. Exactly. I don't know. I don't know. I'll, it's not. Listen, listen. Of with all the content like we had episodes. with all the content we have and everything I needed to watch in the middle of working and recording. <laughs> Hey, my fault. We got to come prepared, <laughs> baby. I managed. I managed the five chapters. You do five you chapters of Tower of God. I do five chapters of Vigilante. If you I, want to do more Tower of God, you did eight. Fuck you. Yes, like a volume. Like I said, I was. Fuck you. Anyways, so, so Vigilante. So I learned something interesting. All right, so they're doing the concert. They're doing this uh, community concert. For uh, obviously the community, just to throw out attention, and you get a show from some of our some of our heroes, some of our pro heroes that we love so much. It was the very seductive one. Miss uh, Midnight. Yeah, the mic one, the very loud one. Yeah. And then there was Eraserhead, Captain uh, Aizawa Sensei. I think that's how you say his name. Yeah, it's funny. You'll see more of him in this than I feel like you see the other My Hero. You think so? Yeah, you do. So, like, he, he was on he was on his way to the concert that he didn't want to go to. And then one of the yeah. instant villains showed up. It was, like, a eel shark-looking thing. Yeah. And um, he was like, oh, can't go now. Got a villain. Which he was hoping the yeah. villain would show up, and then it showed up. And I was just like, I don't know, man. I think kind of spoke that into existence. But okay. <laughs> It'd be like that. Yeah, and, um, it do. He was fighting the eel, and he, he had it strapped down. But then um, it set out this big electric post that shut out the power in the area. So the concert was kind of ruined for a little bit. And Pop Step stepped up her shit and organized the event and did a couple songs to keep everyone waiting for the power to come on. Um, yeah. Meanwhile, tough guy, old guy, like, in the midst of this, reveals that B-Girl is his daughter. And I was just yes. like, what? The fuck? Yeah. No, here was, here was my first thing. She was like, this body is really good. I'm gonna use it until I can't use it anymore, and then I'll just move on and i was just like wait can his can his daughter um like change bodies and i, yeah. I was really confused and like no that's not the case 
his, his daughter was being possessed by a bee. Yep. And he literally had to kill her to get all the bees to come out because they it was a brain dead host and they swarmed out and all that was left was the bee, the queen bee which was fat as fuck oh my god pulling that thing out with tweezers mm -hmm. i think he did and it was just i thought it was i thought it was her brain i thought the bee was her brain i don't even know <laughs> if the girl's alive yeah i was just like what the actual fuck so yeah that's that. That that's where I'm at. And then Dude got some news while he was chasing his daughter about his wife. And I don't I don't know what the news was, but he didn't seem to take it too hard. So I don't think she's dead. Maybe she's getting better and he's like the family's going to be reunited soon. I was a piece of shit and I couldn't stop you when you were gone, but I'm going to stop you now. Yeah. I think it's um I think his his wife was in a coma or something, right? Mhm. Mm yeah. Yeah. Mm. So you haven't seen um, him level up his quirk yet? Uh, no. I mean, we like I said the, the last time when it got a little interesting, he did the hopping thing. Mm. The, like, he like floated for a minute. I still don't... Because his quirk is like repulsion or something like that. But like, as far as he knew, he can only use it for sliding. It was like... It was kind of like um, Toyama in this current episode of my hero where toyama learned that um he could fly using his shadow oh yeah yeah i remember that mm -hmm. and it was just like oh my man can fly yeah that's cool and like toyama is a cool character but like i don't think he will ever not be like kind of a side character <laughs> yeah Like even Toyama, um, Toyama Dakota, ba Baku and Todoroki, they're like not the main main characters, but like you can see them clearly being like front characters. Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know. but yeah, it was it was interesting five chapters. I I'm gonna keep trying to make time for all the shit we're watching and reading. You won't. It's hard, man. It's hard. Meanwhile, I started reading Tower of God again, so. <laughs> See, if you stop reading stuff you're not supposed to read, Bro, then it's... you can do the things you're not supposed to. It's so good. Okay, okay, all right. So, speaking of Tower of God, go ahead and catch us up. It ain't, it ain't all that good. It's Fuck all right. Fuck you. Fuck you. Yeah, it's, um, and they're doing the exam. They're doing, um, the teams. Rachel's on the same side as Bam. Um, Lizard girl fought her 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 um her auntie, so that's pretty cool. Her backstory about um how her her mother decided not to um abide by the rules and uh, actually have a child. So yeah, so it's all right. I'm not like, oh my god, let me read this on my other obligations. <laughs> <laughs> but still. Okay. So. Yeah. So what are you thinking right now? Like, who, who, what are the characters you like? What are the characters you don't like? Blah, blah, blah. I like Mr. Kun. Yeah, he's, he's like, he's a fucking kilo of to go. He's like a um, Itachi level planner. Like Yo, he already he's, knew. he's fucking devious, yeah. bro. Yeah. Yeah, and I feel like Rachel. She's a um, she's something. She's not who she says she is. They called her Michelle. So I was like, huh, Michelle something. Mm-hmm. Michelle Light. Yeah. I don't know if I would have remembered uh, without rereading, but I definitely know because I just finished reading up that portion. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. 
You got nothing else to say, Irby? About Tower of God? No, Eight chapters, that's all you got? For. Yeah, that's all I got, man. He Bam's learning his power. Apparently he's a natural, but doesn't know how to use it. Which I'm thinking, you, like, Bam... He, you're pickier than I special. thought. What? You're, you're a little pickier than mm -hmm. I thought. I mean, it's all right. It ain't like I'm like, damn, I gotta, I gotta, uh, wake up and read some of this. I wish you would, bro. I wish you would. I don't have that type of personality. I'm a very patient person. That's cool. That's understandable. Yeah. Yeah. Unless it's my video games and I can't wait. No, I can wait. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Dude, yeah. But yeah, no, it's cool. I'll read I'll read some more later. Throughout the week. I might be able to cram uh five episodes in. Um okay. if I'm not if I'm not watching uh another show. Again, I'm not rewatch Rony Kimson. Um yeah. Okay. But anyhow, so... next subject. So Kenshin. His name is Ken Shin, correct? Yeah, but when I, I when they say his name, it sounds like they're saying Ken Chi. Mm. Well, that girl, she um, I think she shortens his name. <clears throat> yeah, so like, mm -hmm. so yeah. of course, after like a major battle, we had a little Yoshi side story, little filler Yoshi, and it was, it was okay. It was um. The premise of this filler was that Yoshi could use... Yoshi wanted to use a real sword. <laughs> the, you laugh, so does that mean you remember? Yeah. But he's not ready for it. Yeah, he wanted to use a real sword and Honwe Kenshin broke his fingers, came back to like get revenge on um, Kenshi and pretended to lose to Yoshi so that he would challenge Yoshi to a to the uh, duel using real swords and Yoshi was just like I'll get um, Kenshi's reverse edge sword blade uh, sword and I'll beat you tell me time and place and and he's like, meet me over here. So he sneaks. It seems like he almost seemed like he was going to ask Kenshin for the sword. But he didn't. He ended up just yeah. sneaking it out and getting caught. And almost getting, causing Kenshin's life. And I feel like I feel like they let him off the hook a little too easily at the end. When he showed up with the sword. And was like, I'm sorry I stole your sword and almost got you killed. Put your life in danger. I'm like, that's it? That, 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 that. You're sorry? Motherfuck! How about uh, I learned my lesson and yo, I I will do this a thousand times to make up for what I I don't know. But it was okay side story. It was okay filler. Um, yeah. as far as the next two episodes, where they're about a rich kid who lost his dad, who was a swordsman, and is looking for a trainer. Mm -hmm. It almost seemed like the kid was gonna like he was a spoiled brat and he he um idolized the wrong swordsman. It was just guy who was clearly up to no good. Um, was just using his house as a base to rally up swordsmen, but like the kid saw no wrong in the guy, even though he hasn't taught him anything or whatever. They yeah. wanted to get Kenshi to join their crew, and Kenshi was like, no, I don't believe in killing anymore. Um, you guys are pieces of shit. Fuck you, get money. <laughs> I don't know if he said all that. That's what I heard. Yeah. And mm -hmm. then, um... Before that very moment, a very funny moment happened where... They're taking a bath in like a hot spring and Kenshin realized that they're using uh, the kid. So he's just like, Corey, we got to go. And he gets up and he walks over there and 
My man is butt ass naked. Dick just hanging all the way out. And you can't see that. Nah, you can't see it, but like <laughs> it's have you you know it was there. Mm. So like the doctor lady and Corey are just looking in complete shock, but they're staring at it. They are like their eyes are not turning away from him. His, his uh, manly pride. And he looks down. And he's just like, oh, oops, I <laughs> forgot. <laughs> yeah. But like, Corey, here's what got me in that part. Because the very next thing that was said was by Corey. She was like, ooh, Kenchi. I'm like, hold on. Why she say it like that? <laughs> What's she planning to do to my man after her? <laughs> You know it's gonna go down. Yeah, well, you know, can't she about to have a home, home cooked uh, meal? I don't know. He about to have some dessert. Fuck the home cooked meal. About to have some pie. Mm. Apple nah, pie is delicious, though. Apple pie? Yep. I'm more of a pumpkin pie. I kind of like my pie with cheese on it sometimes. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> just a little piece of cheese not a whole lot just a little bit to change the consistency <laughs> um so that was what happened on Kenshi it's a, right now it's a brawl between the officials and the swordsmen they're rushing into the south and I got stuck on a cliffhanger so I gotta wait till next week Damn. So, hmm. One Piece, Irby. Damn, let me get started on the catastrophe that is One Piece. Oh, here we go. This man. I still, the whole Sea Fizzle Stone gets me. This man, Luffy, could do a whole big old arm punch in some water, but then he touches Sea Fizzle Stone with the Coliseum and he, and he goes down. That was one of my notes from last week. I didn't get to. And let me talk about his gear four transformation. How do you bite into your arm that's already filled with impenetrable hockey already? That makes zero sense to blow yourself up like that. And my main man, Zoro, didn't even try to cut the, the threads. Yeah. Well, he, he, he could feel that he couldn't. Nah. He, and why you say, there's no reason to believe this is just one man's attack. No reason why I can't stop it. We'll try to cut it then. Go ahead. Try. But you, but you didn't. He just like, let me, let me do armament and my swords, and then I'll just stand here till Luffy saves us. I feel like he could at least cut one of his threads. I'm, um, I'm still, like... At this point, when I was watching there, I was still, like, anticipating, like, yo, I don't think I've seen Zoro go all out yet. It's like, what the hell has this man, like, learned? His only technique is, like, a 3,000 worlds. And, like, to this to this episode, I still have never seen him use Demon uh, or Ashura a second yeah. time. But uh, that's where that's where. So like, guys, a little a case you guys don't know. This fight in the anime between Dolphy and Luffy was extended for anime purposes. Luffy actually trashes Doflamingo once he goes Gear Four. Mm. I don't know just about a, that. Just a tidbit, just information for the information wanting. Luffy's a sucker. Damn. Yeah, I said it. Okay, all right. <laughs> yeah, this man did Bounce Man. He bounced for four episodes. And then he's like, oh, I gotta go kill uh, Dolphy now because the bird case didn't fall down. Meanwhile, all your power runs out. You sit there have a conversation with people nearby. No doubt of all you didn't get Dolphy. But I'm telling you, that's only because of the, the anime. <laughs> Nah, man. If you don't want him to seem like that, don't do him like that. That's well, it's not say. the creator is not the one making the anime. 
Oh, but he, he should have some input. Yeah, but a lot of a lot of people don't. They're just like, uh, keep the keep the anime away from far away from the manga in terms of catching up, so that you have something to to um so you know what to to animate, you know. Like the the whole the whole um, pirate games fight with the slow slow fruit guy. The whole round two never happened. No, round two happened because it was on the on the show. Yeah, round round, round two, two happened on the show. The whole round two never happened in the manga. Like that's not filler, yeah. but it's also half filler. Yeah, if you don't want want us to see him like that, then don't do him like that. Simple. <laughs> okay, so um, Kenichi Kenichi Shirahama is the fucking nigga, like Sega, but like Gee. nigga. No, no, you you weren't with it. No, no, but anyhow, um, Kermit is the voice of Trunks. And I feel like he also has multiple personalities. Oh, Hermit? Yeah. The voice of Trunks. I don't know why. I thought I heard Krillin for a second. I was like, Krillin? I don't see that at all. No, nah, it was Trunks. I was like, he said something. And I was like, oh, sounds like Trunks. Okay, I was hmm. like, oh. All right, go ahead, Ruby. Lead us in this one. Yeah, basically, um... Hanukkah will help you. Nothing really happened there other than, um, I, th I think they did, they found out that Apache is really good. Kenichi kind of, um, loses his resolve to train because he doesn't think he's getting any better. And, um, Kenichi is one insecure ass fucking disciple. <laughs> yeah, he is. So, that man has more mood <laughs> swings than me at 13. Dang. <laughs> but uh actually how old is Kenichi? 14, 15 I think he just started high school hmm that's fair um, yeah but um is this the one where they go shopping too? yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. Go, go shopping and then um Kenichi actually just leaves her hanging Straight up just leaves yeah. her behind and like then wonders where she's at. Like, nigga, had you been watching her. <laughs> yeah. And it's like what killed me is like over the next um like the, the the two episodes that followed was this man did not think to himself once that like he should have been watching her better. Yeah, well he um that's when uh Hermit got him. Got mm -hmm. her and she like befriends him. And he sees like his sister and her. sort of, sort of be friends. Yeah. Like he he like he's with it, but he's not with it. I'm gonna say yes because he's willing to uh, get her water when she's like, "Hey, I'm thirsty," and he's like, "She'll be okay." And he went and got her water. So. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So um, I would say yes. Like he obviously cares for her a little bit. Mm -hmm. Still being so, a bad guy, he is. So then, like in the next episode, Kenichi, I think it's Kenichi still avoiding the dojo at this point. Um, yeah. Honoko is just straight up like going to this man's house and being a a terrible housewife. She trying though. She's, she tr yeah, she's she trying. She trying. Yeah. And um, while it, while she's there, Loki shows up. Yeah. And then mentions taking on Kenichi Shirahama, and then she's like, What? That's my big brother. He's a fighter for justice, and you can't take on him. And. Oh, kick your butt. And, and then, then Loki's just like, trap. Yeah, and Loki's just like, Oh! You're Shirahama's little sister. Oh! Alright, you know what? Perfect. And then yeah. Herm Hermit seemed a little conflicted about the whole situation. 
but still wasted no time taking advantage of it. Yeah. I feel like he was kind of reluctant to fight, though. He, he, seemed, he seemed okay with using her as bait, but mistreating her was his issue. Yeah. Yeah, he, he seemed all for, like, hey, yeah, cool, bait. I'm with it. Um, yeah. let's give her, let's give her water, though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. And, like, they, fucking Nijima's stupid ass makes a webpage for people to sign up for the Shimpaku Alliance. Yeah. And, um, Loki sees it and sends a picture. It's like, hey, it's Loki from the, the... Eight, nine, Ragnarok. seven fists from Ragnarok. Uh, we got Honoko over here. And then Kenichi oh. just starts. He didn't even hesitate. He just started running. And yeah. Miu sees him and it's just like, there you are. Are you ready to come back? And he didn't say a word. He just ran right by her. And I was just like, damn. That was kind of like, mm -hmm. for no reason, like a kind of like a heavy moment. <laughs> Yeah, it was, but um, yeah, I was like, dang. I also feel like they're all named after uh Norse gods. Mhm. Mm Cause Loki and um. Hermit and um. And Valkyrie. Yep. Yeah. So. Well, I don't think Val. Um, well, Valkyrie, like there are Valkyries in the Norse mythology, but like. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean they're, they're they're kind of based somewhere yeah, in that based realm. On, I feel like. Yeah, yeah, but I don't remember any other names. So. Yeah. Um, I'll have sure. to uh, hear them out. So, uh, Sasaki and Akisame. Yeah. Akisame. I'm actually I'm getting their names. Cool, cool, cool. Cause Sasaki well, and Akisame. Episodes, uh, it'd be like that. They um see Kenichi running and he like Akisame is just like oh I sense anger in him you know like should we follow I'm like yeah let's follow and they just start jumping on roofs and Kai 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 Takeda Takeda I was my head was trying to say Kaede like from Kaede from Inuyasha I don't know why and, like oh, I was stopping okay. myself I don't know. yeah I was just like I know that's not right I gotta stop saying it. Um, Takeda was just like, bro, I can't keep up. And then they saw, he saw them jumping and he was like, what the fuck? And then he was like, yeah, I'm just gonna go home. <laughs> um, so, uh, Kenichi shows up. Did you see how he broke the door? The gate? Just punched that thing. That almost was really my flavor. I was like, mm, That not, shit almost looked like a fucking key blast. I was like, there's no way that should be possible, right? I don't know. He I, don't, I mean, it. he did do it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like that shouldn't have been um possible, but like it was still cool. I was just like, oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, good on you, mate. And then, like... Good on you, mate. Good on you, mate. Um, good day, mate. <laughs> shut the fuck up, Uh Ooh. So, Kenichi and Hermit start their round two bout. And then we get... Um, Akisame bet against poor Kenichi. Yeah. And Sasaki was like, Kenichi's got this. And, like, it was, like, back and forth for a little at, at some point. But then Hermit actually took over and trashed Kenichi for a little bit. And gave his yep. backstory to why he is the way he is. He doesn't trust anyone. And then Kenichi's like, you gotta trust everyone. You have someone to fight for. Kenichi was like, I ain't falling for your fucking pity show. Fuck you and the shit you went through. Yep. That's how I, I feel like his multiple felt. personality. Um, I feel like his multiple personality killed um, 
killed his dad without him knowing. Oh, uh, his mo mm, You don't. You don't think it was actually the girl? The wife? No. You don't. I don't why feel they, like it. No. Why would they? Um, no. Why would they arrest her? Because for some reason. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> just he planted evidence. I don't know. I'm no, not the, man. Uh, you out here? You reaching? You out here reaching? Nah, fuck that. So that's yeah. Kenichi gets back up, and I believe they're about to go at it again. But um, Loki interferes and comes and out with like his sister. Comes out with his sister, and then we get the cliffhanger. Yep. Good episode to end on. So I what was do you watching to see see what I um see what's going to happen? I was like, nah. I was about to say, what do you what do you think is gonna happen? I feel like the um, I feel like they're gonna intervene to save uh the sister. I was gonna say, do you think uh, Hermit's gonna cross over to the good side or? I have no idea. Okay, so this was your suggestion, so it's only fair if you take the lead on it. And I, first of all, I just want to say, why does it seem like a lot of the new animes have long ass names? Oh, I didn't write the name down. I was like, Shh, I'm just calling this shit Starter Town. Yeah. So it's like from the last dungeon to the Starter Town, something like that. Yeah. Let me, let me look. Hmm. The names that they name them. Suppose a kid from uh, the last dungeon moves to a starter town. And this kid is oh fucking p like already. He reminds me of uh, Meliodas if he wasn't a um. A if he was more of a perv. <laughs> if he if, yeah, if he wasn't so much of a perv. Yeah, um, I can I can see the Meliodas thing. He's strong, knows he's strong, but doesn't know he's too strong. Yo, he's um, like, yeah, I made it six six days. Bellface girl is obsessed. Yeah, I like her. No, I like I like uh, Marie, the um, the witch. <laughs> she reminds me of Sakura, but the like older a, witch or the the young one. The one that's like, the don't that you he... dare flirt with him or whatever. No, no, no. The one that he stays with with the glasses. Uh, okay, yeah. She reminds you of Sakura? Yeah. Like, she's like flipping out over stuff. And, um, uh, like, like a useful Sakura. Mm. She's like, she's like, oh, da da da, yeah, I'm doing this and this. And, like, she's over the top, like Sakura. She's like, Naruto, ah! That's, that's what I mean. Like, she's always screaming. And she's like, oh, I'm going to give you two Charlie horses. <laughs> Anytime you curse me. And so I was like, like, man. My, my qu main question with how this, how, like, he, he is very, like, self-conscious about his own ability. Yeah. To the point where, like, he almost feels like it's never good enough. So, like, I, he, Immediately towards like the for end of first or like middle of the second episode, I was just like, "Is everyone in his village just like that much better to him that he thinks he's that bad, or is he just really hard on himself?" I think he's he might be the weakest in his village, but the strongest anywhere else. You think so? Like, <laughs> yeah. Like I feel like um. Cause like he, they said he failed his test because he put in squiggles, <laughs> but he 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 did runes. It was so runes, like, yeah. And like no one understood what they were. And they they were like, they were runes. I like, like can you write in runes? Like I thought the runes were just used for magic, but like I I they're they're letters most of the time, um, like doors and stuff. Writing runes, um, mm -hmm. basic. Basically, like old, 
mythologies and such. So okay. I was like, huh. So yeah, the kid I like that episode. Yeah, the Man, kid is OP. Sort of, <laughs> yeah. The kid is O fucking P, bro. Like he the the witch was like Oh, you made you made it here in just three days with the train? That's not even that bad. I'm like I don't know, I didn't take a train. Or six days. Like I ran. I was like, you what? Didn't you come across any monsters? It's like, no, no monsters. I did come across some uh, bugs and uh dragons. dragons and I was just like, bro, what? Is yeah. He fuck? It's like any of the monsters, his definition of monsters were villains. Yeah, they talked. Yeah. Like, oh that's a monster. And like I don't know if like everyone just has like the magical ability to sense power where everyone saw like a lion in him. It was just like Yeah. What is he? What does he want? <laughs> yeah, like he homeboy went to attack him off rip and I was like, damn. Mm-hmm. And when he was taking the test, the mercenary girl who was like one in and got her record clear was just like, uh, one question, what is that? And he was like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. like, you don't know, what's he doing here? I don't know, I think he's a volunteer. I just hope he doesn't kill us all. Yeah. That man, he got some power to him. And they could sense it. He's like, I had attack on instinct because I thought he was so scary. And so, that was, that was pretty good. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's, a, it's an interesting uh, anime right off yeah. the bat. Yeah. I can't get it's over like, um... I need I need us to get to, like... Well, first of all, I feel like we have a huge commitment right now with all the fucking shows, Arby, but it's okay. Um, hey, man, if you uh, put in the time, you'd be okay. The problem is, I need the time. <laughs> but Hey, man. Um, I feel like once we get to a basis where we're just watching weekly shit and just, like, maybe one thing that, like, has already started... It'll be a lot easier because, like, every time, like, we get into something good, I just want to... It's like, I was like, fuck, I want to watch the next episode. <laughs> oh, I finished it already. No, you didn't. I did. Did not. How do you know? Because you keep giving me shit about being a man of my word and, like, sticking to the, the schedule, blah, blah, blah. Well, I'm glad you finally listened to someone I say. Hmm. <laughs> mm. But yeah, I'm going to watch the next one. I was like, dang. After he snapped her arm, I was like, ooh. And he's like, oh, you're a demon lord? So I was like, shoot. That means um, boy can actually fight him. <laughs> Does that, is, is that what that mean? Yeah. Because they say people from the town can only intervene when, um, when it's a demon lord. Huh. It's, something that, it's something that the people can't um, understand. Or it's not in their wheelhouse. That's what the um. So you want to talk about thing. mamas? Yeah. One of those things, right? No. No, not that. I was uh, wrong. You are right many times, but still. <laughs> I digress. Well, fuck you. All right, Irby, you got anything you want to throw like in that. there? Oh, just, um, that, that woman from Borto, it's not everyone, it's just her, uh, if they're not related to her type deal. I think, I think that's what it, what I wrote down. No, no, because she said <laughs> everyone. It's, it's everyone but Otsuki and, um, people that are blood relatives to her. Oh, but mainly everyone else, so basically everyone. Yeah. Code's gotcha. not um, Otosuki, so. Gotcha. Okay, cool. Yeah. Alright, guys. That's gonna do it for this thrilling week. Thank you so much for listening. If you enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll catch you next week. Peace. Peace.